Hi, I'm Brian. I'm here at Little Red Schoolhouse in Willowbrook, Illinois. And my mom used to take me here when I was young. So whenever I want to clear my mind, I always come here. And it really mellows me out, centers me. Just going on this nature walk, it's the peace, most peaceful place on earth, in, in my mind. If you listen close, you can hear all the animals and the birds chirping. Just want to get you a, a look. There used to be some um, carp down here. We would feed them. Throw bread in there. Oh look, Kiki was there. Kiki! So in this video, I just want to talk about what it takes to become sober. I just joined Alcoholics Anonymous for like the fifth time. And all the other times that I joined, I knew I wasn't going to go all the way through with the program. Even if I did keep coming, I was going to drink, just not as much. This time when I went, <laughs> because whenever you walk in there, you don't go there when things are getting good. You go there when something has to change. And this time, I'm not drinking anymore. I'm done. This is my fourth day sober. And I'm not touching it anymore. And what I'm going to do, this channel, is to get other people sober. And if you need any help, if you need to reach out, and you need somebody to walk you through every step of the way, I'm here for you because I know what it takes and what what you really want. Now, the alcohol, it, it, it is a huge problem, but it's a, it's a crutch. It's what we do to numb our pain and what's going on. And when I was drinking, the reason why I was doing it was because I felt like I, I'm alone, that no one understood me. And a lot of people don't because they they don't go through it so they don't know how to respond and then they keep pressuring you and then you keep drinking and it's an endless cycle it keeps on getting worse people tell you that you can't do it and in human nature once someone tells us that we can't do something it makes us want to do it so i wasn't allowed to drink one beer so what 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 i start doing i start taking the little shooters because those are easier to hide. And that's why they make them. And it, it, isn't, it, isn't it something that people are not supposed to drink and drive, but then at all these all these motor stops where you get gas, they, they give you the little shooters. Where, when do you think people are going to drink those? So just setting people up for failure is a big thing in, in this society. Keeping everybody down. And it happens when you give the mass amount of people alcohol, you give them drugs, you put pot shops all over the place, you program their mind with, with the music, tell them that they're unlovable, tell them to just focus on one person. <laughs> this is what's in the music. And it get them focused on death, murder, the rap music drugs, selling it, gang banging. These are not good things. And the media gets people's mind focused on death and destruction and darkness. And what does that do to the human mind when you keep on dwelling on these things? What else could you be doing with that time? You could be working on yourself. You be you could be put putting together something, putting out information out there that is going to benefit the human race because right now people need it people need help and there's a lot of messages and some corporate engine that is just running that is pulling people down the masses and keeping them in, in a certain state of mind so it's time to break out of the matrix and that's what this channel is for so it is for self-help self-development, 
we're going to become the best versions of ourselves. I'm going to be the best Brian I can be because in order for me to help somebody else, I first have to help myself. So that is an incentive for me to stay sober also so I can reach out and help others. And then because life isn't just about me, we collectively spend our time with other people on this earth. So communication skills is huge. I, I need to work on my communication and get better at speaking. And then once I can communicate to you, then I know that we can come together for the general, what a, I'm, I, I'm lost for words. I'm not, I'm not too different from you. I like, I like what Ellen Watts said. He said, I want the same thing that you want. And I don't know what you want. First video, stay sober. The main, the main thing is getting around other people that are going to hold you accountable. And just once you, like when, when I went to these meetings... I realize when people are telling their stories that it's my same story. It's like me, just a different reflection of me. And you got things in common with people. And when you're by yourself and you're isolated, you're sitting in your room drinking by yourself, and people are hating on you for it, you're not around. You, you don't get to see that there's other people just like you that have the same exact stories. So this channel, this is what it's for, to get you sober, to turn you into the best version of yourself so you can begin living life. You could put the past behind and forget about it because the past, it already happened. We, we can't change it. But what, what we can do is work on this moment right now because now is all that matters. And if we, if we respond to right now differently in a positive, loving giving people good energy when we meet them, then our future is going to start looking different. But it's all going to, it's all going to happen from the moment right now. Oh, shit. Big ass B. Big ass motherfucker. All right, I'm Brian. This is my first video. Welcome to the channel. I'm at Little Red Schoolhouse in Willowbrook, Illinois. My mom used to take me here. Peace.